Hello, my friends, it's Danny, and welcome to week eight of my 10 week clean and delicious intuitive eating series. I hope you guys have been following along. If you have not, I like always will link to all of the previous videos down in the description box below. If you've missed the first seven, I do recommend going back and watching them. All of these principles tend to work together. And so it's a really lovely series to kind of take in from the beginning. So this week is all about respecting your body. And that's what we're going to be chatting about and why it's so important, right? So think about this. We don't all walk around thinking that everybody should have the same shoe size. So why is it that so many people think we should all have the same body size or the same body type, right? There is something to be said for your generic blueprint, right? Just the general shape and size and type of body that you have. And then being willing to accept what that is and then respect what that is. Respecting our bodies means that we treat them with dignity and kindness and we meet all of our basic needs no matter what our body looks like. Some bodies are rounder and softer and thicker and some bodies are longer and leaner and taller, right? And while unfortunately our society does tend to value a certain look over another look, the way we begin to change that is by beginning to change the way we view our bodies and the way we view other people's bodies. I mean, I know firsthand that we all want to look our best and feel our best. I am on that very same journey right along with you guys. But I think we also have to remember sometimes to pause and remind ourselves that our bodies are our homes. This is literally the space that you will live in for the rest of your life. This body is what allows you to jump and play and touch and smell and taste. You know, these bodies let us hold the hands of our children and hug the people we love. All of those things we can thank our bodies for, no matter what that body looks like. There is more to our bodies than just how they look. And a great way to begin to show respect to your body is to find some gratitude for your body. Even if you're not ready to fully accept your body's generic blueprint and maybe you don't love the way your body looks, you can still cultivate habits that are kind and respectful and gratitude is a fantastic place to start. If you're willing to approach it with an open mind, you can certainly find something about your body that you are grateful for. You know, I'm grateful that that my body breathes without me having to think about it. I'm grateful that my body allowed me to birth two beautiful, healthy children. I'm grateful that my body allows me to go to my yoga class or to get in the kitchen and cook with you guys. And I'm grateful that my body allows me to experience pleasure, right? Whether that's a massage or a pedicure or simply scratching an itch, right? All of these things feel really good and we would not be able to experience them without our bodies. What can you find about your body to appreciate, right? When you begin to shift your attitude to gratitude, you're gonna see that it also will shift the way that you feel. Another way to show respect to your body is just basic self-care, taking care of your body's basic needs, right? Taking a warm shower, taking care of your skin, brushing your teeth, taking care of your hair, moving your body in a way that feels good, eating foods that give your body energy and nourish yourself, right? resting when you're tired. I know all of these things seem very basic, but the truth is each one of these acts is a way that you show up for and take care of your body. And that is a way of showing some respect and kindness and love to yourself. Another suggestion from the intuitive eating book is to get rid of your scale. Now, I don't think that this needs to apply to everybody, but if you are someone who can go about feeling pretty good and then you step on the scale and the numbers that are reflected back to you, you find really affect your mood for the day, um, you might wanna think about getting rid of your scale. If that scale is creating more negative emotion or some type of, um, if it's triggering some type of negative thought pattern, it might be better to get rid of the scale and just focus on how your body is feeling. Another fun way to practice showing your body some respect is to go to your closet and give it a nice big old closet detox. And what I mean by that is you wanna take out anything in your closet that does not fit you, that you don't enjoy wearing, that doesn't feel comfortable to you, and put it in a box and get it out 
of the closet. The goal is, is that when you go to your closet and you open the door, that you can go through and pick out things that when you put them on, feel really good, look really good, and more importantly, that you feel really good in, right? When you have old clothes that used to fit you 10 years ago, or you're hanging on to that blouse because it was expensive, but you don't really like the way it feels when you wear it, um, you're really doing a disservice to yourself and it's disrespectful. So I want you to really think about getting everything out. You don't have to give it away yet. Just if you need to, just put it in a box and maybe put it in the basement or the attic. Just get it out of the way so that when you go to your closet, you can feel good about what's in there waiting for you. And if you truly don't have anything, I want you to think about making, maybe making it a priority to say, hey, I'm going to take myself on a little shopping trip and you don't have to spend a ton of money, money right? And just get a couple of items that you can really feel fabulous and it is a way of showing your body and yourself some respect and then one final way to practice respecting your body and just a side note in the intuitive eating book they have a lot more practices so if you want to take a deeper dive I will link to the book down in the description box below but the last one that I'm going to talk about today is to stop comparing yourself to others both physically and emotionally practice pointing your attention inward, right? Look for the qualities in yourself that you really like. Look at your own personal strengths. And a great exercise, my friends, is to grab that pen and paper and really make a list. Like what are some of the things that are fabulous about you? It could be something as simple as being a good listener or being a great friend or being an amazing mom, right? All of these things, we all have all of these qualities inside of us that we don't really take the time to focus on and to celebrate. So I want you to really write it out for yourself and put it down on paper and remind yourself, hey, these are my personal strengths. I don't need to be looking outside of myself to validate them, right? It's just who I am and this is my truth. And when I recognize that and honor it, that's a way of showing some respect to myself. Train your brain to have your own back, right? Remember to constantly show up and vote for yourself. And like everything else we've talked about in the last eight weeks, all of this is a practice, right? But these small steps really do add up. So I want to encourage you to keep putting one foot in front of the other and creating this positive space for yourself so that you can create a relationship with your food and your body and yourself that you are desiring and that you really deserve. So as always, I am now super curious to hear from you. What are your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas, your experiences, your aha moments? Please come on down to the comments below and let me know. Do you have any practices that help you to respect your body? Come down and share because we are all learning from each other and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Um, if you know anybody else who you think could benefit from this series, please pass it along. I know myself, 10 years ago, I would give my left arm to get my hands on information like this. So if you know somebody who could benefit from it, share the good word, my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you back here next Tuesday for week nine with some more intuitive eating food for thought. Cheers.